official meeting minutes are documents used to document what occurred at an official meeting of a government body. This includes city councils, school boards, planning commissions, and more. Minutes are important for public officials because they provide a quick reference to understand past actions of a government body. They're also valuable for the general public who may be unable to attend a meeting where an important decision is being made. Before we get into everything about these documents, we're eForms, the biggest database of nearly every kind of document that you can imagine. Make sure that you watch to the end of this video where we'll give you a link to a fillable meeting minutes template for you to create and customize online. Many states have strict laws about meeting minutes. As a government body, it is extremely important to know and follow these rules because the consequences for not doing so can be severe, including potentially voiding decisions that were made in a meeting that were improperly documented. But there are a few things to keep in mind for minutes of almost all government bodies. First, when are minutes necessary? Minutes are required whenever there is a public meeting of a government body. State law will typically spell out what constitutes a meeting, but it's often whenever a quorum of elected or appointed officials gather to discuss government business. This will typically include private or closed sessions in which a government body temporarily meets in secret to discuss a sensitive matter. Second, who should create the minutes? Meeting minutes are official government documents. Usually a clerk or designated secretary is responsible for producing them, though this officer can seek out help when necessary. Third, what should meeting minutes contain? Government bodies have a bit of freedom in how they structure their meeting minutes. Generally, the best policy is to follow the agenda that was used for a meeting and to provide a brief, accurate summary of what occurred in each agenda item. Some actions will need more attention than others. For example, mentioning any proclamations or awards given out is probably enough, but items that produced sustained discussion or policy outcomes will require more detail. If members of the public offer comment, the minutes should contain each person's name and their opinion on the issue. Finally, every agenda item that resulted in a vote should record the vote of each official. In meetings that do contain closed session, the minutes do not need to disclose the result of what occurred in private, only the general subject of what the body was discussing and whether any public comments were offered on the issue. Finally, how should minutes be made available? The clerk or secretary for the meeting will produce an official edition for city records, as well as a copy available for inspection by the public. In most parts of the country, minutes are also available online. Click the link to access your own fillable meeting minute template and go to eForms.com for free templates and thousands of guides to help you stay organized.